Adventure is out there, and today is our last day on the island of Kauai. Today we are staying on the south side of the island and we begin our day at the Kauai Coffee Company. We had purchased Kauai Coffee back in the Chicagoland, so we thought it would be cool to pay the Kauai Coffee Company a visit while we were here on the island. During our visit, they had six different coffees available for us to try. Oh, they have a cute like, photo opportunity here too. Oh, look at him. What was this one called? Gold dust? So he's, oh my god. I got it. That was awesome. <laughs> Well, that was unexpected. That's funny. Well, I was just about to talk about how this is like a cute, like nice area out here. Let him be, let him be. like Kauai Coffee has won quite a few awards. Twenty-minute walk. Twenty-minute walk for the walking path. This is a free walking path to take. What's up? Happy. It's kind of hard to read, but the sign here says, "Once a year, one tree gives one pound of coffee." I mean, that's like if you really think about how many pounds of coffee are sold, and once a year, one tree gives one pound of coffee. That's crazy. That that's is a lot of trees. It's a lot of trees. Think about how many coffee beans. People go through. I mean, we go through. How fast do we go through a At pound? Least a pound a week. I'd say every five days at most. That's insane to think about. Insane. We actually drank with the sugar cane juice yesterday. Four million trees. So four million. Four million trees are here. Pounds of coffee a year. Yeah. This one has a lot of beans on it. Hola, noni, superfood noni. Okay, it's noni. I don't think I've heard of that. So that's interesting. I've never heard of that. Never seen it before. Let me see if I can get another look. Morinda citrifolia is a fruit-bearing tree in the coffee family. Oh, okay. Its native range extends across Southeast Asia and Australasia. It was spread across the Pacific by Polynesian sailors. Its taste. Also known as the cheese fruit, Noni gets its ripe moniker from its acrid flavor that is reminiscent of odor odiferous Limburger cheese. Interesting. It tastes a lot like it smells earthy and composty with a hint of citrusy sourness. Got some of the beans are changing colors over here. flowers over here. They have a random 
refrigerator over here with a sign that says, never ever put coffee in the fridge or freezer. You'll ruin it stored in the pantry. What about like a cold brew? Can I not put that in the fridge? Run. Is that allowed? Run. If it's being brewed, is it allowed? Or is it just to store it? I don't know. I think you're for steeping it in cold. Yeah, it'll be fine. Also keep an eye out while you're walking around. We found a massive spider. It is a black spider with a yellow, a couple yellow stripes on it. It is freaky. I'm gonna try and get some video, but I don't wanna get too close because I'm just not about it. Looks like it is a Hawaiian garden spider or banana spider. Hawaiian garden spider or banana spider, Jesse thinks. I think I'm close enough, I'm done. Yeah, definitely. I don't need to find out more about it. Bye. Goodbye, spider. We also have a shop here where you can buy coffee beans and other other gifts as well. Other merchandise. Yeah, that one is our most unique one. You don't have a small one in that one. Yeah, we're still down to five. Just the big one, huh? Yeah. So everything that's sold in the store is Hawaiian coffee, except for the K-Cups. The K-Cups are 10% Hawaiian coffee. Anything in the blue bag, they told us, was flavored and not available as a whole bean coffee. But they do have plenty of whole bean coffee available here. Quite a few shirts for sale. I thought this one was kind of cool. After our visit to Kauai Coffee Company, we made a quick stop to Spouting Horn Park. For lunch, we decided to grab Mexican food at De Crack. This was rated very highly and it did not disappoint. We both ordered bowls and they were very good. And because we can't help ourselves, we had to stop and get ourselves another shave ice. Checking out the fresh shape for a, another round of shaved ice. Let's see what they got. We got the Fu Man shoe, which was strawberries, bananas, and cream. I like the touch of the fresh fruit on there too. Mm -hmm. Looking back, this was easily one of our favorite shave ice that we had on our entire trip. I 
because they look at they had to cut this side off here. Yeah. I know. It's wild. Yeah, it's like a tree house. It's a really cool tree. It's almost a hundred years old, this tree. Yeah. I bet they cut a lot of parts of it off too. While driving back, we drove through the famous tree tunnel. Unfortunately, it was raining, so it was kind of hard to see some of it, but it was still very cool. Unfortunately, our time on Kauai has come to an end. We really had a wonderful time on this island and I hope that one day we are lucky enough to return. But our Hawaiian adventure did not end here. We visited Oahu and Maui next, so stay tuned for those videos coming up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you never miss an adventure. I hope you join me on my next journey, but until then, keep exploring.